Fortnite squad. I front you that work and you couldn't flip it. That's none of my business. You better go get it. Better go find it. Yo, what's up, guys? Orctify here. Today, I'm going to give you a few tips on uh, how to join any team in the community. These tips work for pretty much any team. And then uh, I'll go over how I personally uh, made it into aggro, uh, my grind, and then how I did everything. So, my first step into making any team is consistency. I believe that is the most important thing. Now, of course, you don't want to be putting out content that is not up to your standards just because you want to get out a video every other day or every two days. Um, personally what I did was I tried to make a video uh, Twitter clip every um, two to three days and then I would try to upload a, a YouTube video um, every three to four days and then obviously I stream every single day so that's where really that's where the consistency comes in everybody knew that I was a super hard grinder I was streaming every single day as long as I could uh, the week before I got into aggro um, uh, the last, like the five days leading up to before I got an aggro, I actually streamed for 40 hours, which doesn't seem like a lot to most people, but considering that I really don't make money off of streaming, 40 hours in five days is a whole lot of hours not making any money, you know, so. But, you know, gonna keep grinding, uh, do what I gotta do, and, you know, that really helped me. Second tip is networking. Um, for most people, they'll kind of be like, what, networking? But that's just kind of talking to people, getting to know who the other grinders are, getting to know the members in... Uh, the team that you're grinding for if it's not aggro if it's you know whoever else you're going for um, and then getting to know the leads um, the best way to get to know everybody is just going there in their, in their uh, streams if they're streaming on YouTube or Twitch or they upload videos on YouTube whatever and just interacting with them not you know coming in their DMs and, and DMing them 5 12 you know 13 times every you know 10 minutes don't be don't try to be annoying I understand there's a difference between trying to message somebody and um, getting to know them or just plain, you know, uh, frustrating them. But um, personally, if someone just DMs me once or twice, I'm not going to freak out. But if you're constantly spamming my DMs and I'm not responding, um, there's probably a reason for it. So get to know everybody. Um, definitely, if you're grinding for a team, find out who the leads are and, and get to know them very well. Uh, when I was in aggro, you know, I tried to stop in as many people's streams as I could. This was something that I didn't do as much as I should have. And I think that's um, part of a reason why it took as so long as I did. I really didn't um, do as much as I could in networking, you know, talking to people. But I definitely did talk to a few members and uh, became good friends with a few members before I got in. Um, noticeably, Abstract, Rocks, and Relicon. Those were the three main ones that I really became friends with. So, um, just networking. Find out who's in the team and uh, try to become friends with them. Don't don't annoy them again. Don't come on too strong. Just kind of, you know, bring up conversations here and there. Ask what you can improve on. Uh, if they really want to help you, they'll definitely tell you what you can improve on. And if you ever want to DM me, if you're grinding for aggro or any other team, if you want to DM me, ask what you can improve on. If I'm free, of course, I'll respond to you. A lot of you already know that. My third tip is be creative. Now, I'm not saying go in creative and, and do free builds for 10 hours straight and then upload a video. That is boring. Let's be honest here. If you're uploading only creative videos, I'm sorry. Obviously, I can't speak for the whole team of aggro because I, I don't have any leadership position here. But from my personal uh, point of view, and I know a few others, we don't want to just see creative clips nonstop. You know, your whole montage is full of creative clips and then three in-game clips. That's, uh, that's boring. Let's be honest here. Um, I could sit in creative for 10 hours a day, my entire stream, you know, every single day of the week, and then get as many creative clips as I can, but that's just boring. I don't want to see your free builds. This is in 2018. Let's let's bring some creativity. A really, really good example of creativity is Ebanks. If anybody knows um, the aggro grind of Ebanks, he makes funny skits of him dancing and incorporates clips. I think that is fantastic. His dancing has definitely gotten noticed by not only aggro members, but people, you know, with... Um, a substantial amount of following that aren't in aggro they're just part of the community and i think that is fantastic ebanks you are doing a wonderful job now my fourth tip is social media presence um you know don't be posting videos or reposting videos of naked girls and you know whatever else nasty stuff you know people getting shot or whatever don't don't do that be respectful on social media don't be starting beef with everybody in the community just so you can get some clout that's you know don't because we me personally, I don't want to be teammates with someone that's just constantly getting in fights and arguments with other people. That's just unnecessary. And um, so just keep your social media presence to a, a minimum. Um, you know, you could obviously post every day, tweet whatever you want. Just don't be rude and disrespectful towards other people. I definitely find that as a, uh, a no-go for me personally. 
Again, my next step is toxicity. Don't be toxic. It's, it's as simple as that. If you die in a game and you know who the person is, or you just die in general, don't be screaming and swearing this and that. It's a game. You get over it. You know. You got a mi you got infinitely many more games to play. So that one game, you will forget about it by tomorrow. I guarantee you. So just remember that a few steps. You know, nobody wants a super toxic person in their team. It's just something that they don't want to deal with, and they don't want to deal with the repercussions of them being toxic towards other players in the community. Um, and then number six is that aggro and any other team that you're grinding for are always watching. Um, so just look again, look out what you say, look out for what you do. And even if we don't like your posts or comment on your posts or, you know, say what's up sometimes, we're definitely always watching. I know I watch tons of RCs that I don't like just because I forget to like or, you know, I don't comment on them just because uh, I like them. But it doesn't mean that we're not always watching. Um, so, yeah. So now how the tips and how I personally got into aggro, uh, like I said earlier, that was gross. Like I said earlier, I streamed almost every single day, I think for the month and however many days I grinded for. I believe I sh only missed two or three days, and that's just because of you know schoolwork or whatever I had to do. Um, so it was a really, really good productive month and however many days I grinded for, so that was... Um, that was super good. That was the first team I've ever grinded for, and I am I'm very happy with Agro. Everybody in it's super kind and helpful, and you know if you ever need anything, they'll definitely help you out with that. Um, if you're not grinding for Agro and you're thinking about it, it's definitely the move. You can always DM me, ask me questions. Uh, I'm not someone in lead, nor will you know. I'm nowhere near that, but I'm always down to help people out if they ever have questions and try to answer them. And you know if they need to talk to someone else higher, but their DMs are full and whatever, I'll try to contact them for you. Um, so I just posted three probably three rcs a week on twitter and then um i would upload youtube videos twice to two to four times a week and then i would stream every single day so again being consistent obviously i'm not the best player in the world but i'm not the worst so it, it doesn't really matter i mean it does matter about your skill but as long as you're being consistent and you're growing that's what we want to see we definitely want to see people growing as long as you're growing on youtube or twitch or whatever you do whatever social media platform that you're really focusing on if you're growing on that and being consistent um you know that's all that's what anybody really wants to see you know you don't have to be the most insane player in the game as long as you're growing and making a social media presence for yourself that is clean that's super important super super important so again just to just to wrap up some things with my tips um, be kind to people, don't be toxic, don't be reposting nasty stuff that I don't want to see, because every time I see someone posting some, some naked girls or, you know, whatever else nasty stuff, I just, I unfollow them, I don't care who it is you're getting unfollowed, that's just, it's inappropriate and I really don't want to see that on my timeline. So, you know, just be conscious of what you're doing, as well as just try to get to know the members of the team, you know, get to know everybody, pop in their stream, say what's up, if you pop in their stream enough times and you're friendly with them and you're talking with them, um, they'll get to know you and every time they see your name they might recommend you because oh you know he's always kind he's coming to my streams I'm gonna go check him out and then maybe I can recommend him to someone else in the team so just be respectful and kind to everybody uh, that's about it for my tips when this video goes up I'll be streaming probably an hour to an hour and a half after this video so if you want to come stop by say what's up my uh, Twitter DMs are always open I can't respond to everybody I have a ton of DMs but if, um, if you ever want me to respond and I'm not responding in a timely fashion you can go over to my uh, YouTube and if I'm I'm most likely streaming. Just ask me on there, hey, can you check your DMs after the game? And I will definitely check them out. If I'm not streaming, so it either means I'm uploading or I'm at school. Other than that, I'm usually always streaming. And I will see you guys in today's stream. Had a wonderful day. Keep grinding. 10K RC. Let's get it, boys. Good luck.